Прошу. Good afternoon, esteemed colleagues. We have a real democracy, like a multicolored regarding the the uh, selection of the color of the seat. You know, the Ukrainian media center of reforms actually summed up certain results uh, of uh, our achievements with our colleagues who are also monitoring the progress of reforms and they assess their quality progress and uh, the speed of this progress. And today, within the framework of this initiative, we have a few communicative um, uh, things and the analytical materials which, speaking in principle, uh, obviously show um, uh, the proof, the progress, and there were good illustration of where we achieved some success, where those reforms have been slowed down, and give the floor to Timofim Melodovano, one of the main ideologists. So, thank you. It's my pleasure uh, to have this opportunity to talk about reforms. Uh, can I ask to put the video on the screen? Over many years, the powers that be in Ukraine promised to implement the necessary reforms. However, those promises remained un, um, unre uh, unrealized. Since 1992, the economy of Ukraine has made but very, very small progress, while the economy of Poland flourished. The problems of the country became the source of uh, income for the elite. These are the positive changes in Ukraine, though uh, very slow ones. Especially slow temper was specific for the decentralization sphere, the comp competitive policy, and the state management. Uh, much better dynamics was obvious in um, uh, the uh, sphere of the, the public finances, rehabilitation of the banking system, the regulation, and also in the energy sector. The, uh, the, the biggest number of the um, positive transformations are, were associated with combating corruption. But the people remain unconvinced. At the same time, the Ukrainians believe that the country um, actually moves in the wrong direction. What is wrong? Uh, we lack new people. Do we lack new people? And though at the top of the uh, public management we have new faces, but the uh, old guys them still dominate in the top level, also in the general prosecutor's office, the custom service, in the courts, etc. Uh, uh, 
uh, nominating a new government, the parliament does not give it uh, necessary support of this government, I mean. At the same time, the parliament per se uh, gradually polarizes. And in fact, the, the number of the uh, deputies who vote in, uh, together for the same uh, uh, proposal is being reduced. Uh, speaking about the legislation index, Ukraine takes the uh, last but one place in the region. What is next? Well, Ukrainians, you're going to uh, embark on the road to the future. This crisis is doomed, and we are going to have um, a future which is going to be distinguished with good progress. It's time to change. Thank you very much for the opportunity given to us to show this video uh, with your presentation or assessment of the reforms and first of all legislative ones and also to touch upon some um, critical topics why the reforms are not really perceived or supported by the people. I would like to turn the mic to Pablo um, uh, uh, Guchter, who is a very active person, uh, very active in the uh, 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 AMOR uh, project. Thank you. We 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 have seen this. Uh, I'm more index in the, during in this video. This is one argument which is the basis of this video, uh, and uh, the index which we use in order to measure the level of reforms in Ukraine. What is uh, what is all about? It's based on the expert opinions. We actually uh, questioned our let's say we polled the experts who we uh, place much confidence in. And we did that in five um, uh, um, directions, so to say, in five spheres. We do that um, approximately twice a month, and the experts give the grades or marks in certain directions, um, or you know, what events uh, were associated with this and other directions. We're talking about some kind of the legislative acts, um, those who, which were signed by the president or issued by the cabinet of ministers. We could have some regression or regress, and the 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 the, uh, the the worst grade is minus five, and the highest plus five. You know, this uh, really cardinal reform took place. So uh, between one, just almost nothing, and uh, all the way up to five, the complete change of the direction. This is the um, uh, monitoring reform index over the last year when we actually start our reforms. Uh, you can see here, yeah, you know, you can see here a certain problem. We can um, visualize it for the last period, uh, half of this period. The index is rather low. Its peak is about 7.5 uh, points. And we believe that we can adopt the um, plan of reform, the temporal reform, um, uh, two points when um, the, 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 the pace of reforms is about two. It's quite good, you know. Um, it has something to uh, to start with. And uh, you know, as you can see, they, 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 we almost uh, always uh, exceed this level of two points. So um, after the, um, the springtime voting uh, about the EU, you know, the session, etc. You know, not the session, but the, the, um, the joint plan signed by the Ukraine and the EU. And, uh, and then after we didn't have this IMF influence, uh, then um, the, the, the space is slowing down or dropping. Its peak was in uh, August, now it's uh, less than that. Those are the average uh, pace of reform implementation over the uh, year, and remind you that two points is an acceptable level, and unfortunately uh, we did not reach this level on the average, I mean, over the last year. I believe 
Well, the, the, the main issue is uh, what tendency you are going to base yourself on for the next period. Uh, for example, maybe there are some uh, factors like summertime, the uh, period of vacations in the parliament on the holidays, and now they start to work again, but how efficiently it works. What are your expectations, maybe associated or related to restructure now the debt? There was some interval in, or pause in some reform, um, reform efforts. So uh, what would be your assessment? Maybe you, uh, Pablo, can say a few words about that. Well, it's obvious that um, the, the, the decrease of this index of late was associated, uh, uh, first of all, with the passive um, behavior of the Verkhovna Rada, Parliament of Ukraine, which uh, did not pass a single decision in very important sectors. They did not vote, they did not discuss those very important things, and this uh, makes us uh, think why the uh, pace of reforms is lower or slower as the minimum required one. I, I would give two different components of this reason. One is the, let's say, well, sort of um, uh, slowing down the reforms, or even three uh, reasons. The conscientious um, uh, slow down reforms, uh, unintentional uh, uh, slow down associated with the outdated, um, let's say, um, uh, principles of work in the in the, in the government. And the, the second reason that we do not work enough, and there are some evidences uh, to that, and if you're talking about the work of the uh, government, we have the situation the people come to their offices, and the, the question is what they do, what they do not do, but at least they come to the uh, working places and uh, seem to work. If you take a consideration of the budgetary expenditures and without talking that there is a need to reform very fastly our country, but the deputies really underwork, they work not enough, and when we do not, we do not have the quorum in the uh, another committee in the Home Rada, which had to discuss the uh, draft law on the uh, civil service, they did not have a quorum because people just do not come to their working uh, to their offices, and again, we, we, we fail to consider this in the public procurement uh, law, and they took us three, two or three times to do that because there were not enough deputies in the parliament. And of course, we um, there are a lot of uh, other things which are required for the reform, but the fact that they do not work enough, this is one component of that. Another component of this reason, if it's, we start from the end, it's uh, the uh, improper procedures. Very often the problem lies in the fact, you know, we are talking about the government first of all, that uh, the adoption of the required decisions is being delayed too much. Though theoretically speaking, uh, it's possible to adopt uh, let's say the decisions to submit the, uh, the uh, let's say the draft laws to the work of Narada or the resolutions of the government of ministers. This is a kind of the quiet agreement, so to say. Um, and if they believe that if there is no response for several uh, weeks, uh, it, it believed to be coordinated. But in fact, the government of ministers just do not give. Uh, uh, green light to those reforms. So we do not have the procedures how to change that. We were talking about 15, about this uh, 15 years back yet when we they discuss more efficient system when we have some governmental committees, committees where the um, uh, uh, let's say uh, the concerned ministers in let's say in this um, uh, speaking about the state policy or public policy etc. They can discuss some certain drawbacks or shortcomings, and only after that discussion they submit this to further consideration of the cabinet of ministers. And they do not have this procedure when the, the people need to come with their papers and ask the written, uh, let's say, coordination or agreement, and then once again, complete cycle one more time. And this is, uh, the, this is another second com component. Why? Uh, the reforms slow down, and the first one is a kind of intentional slowdown of the reforms because uh, under the available situation, uh, we are fortunate, we are blessed that the, uh, we, you know, we could talk about the worst scenario, which theoretically could be the case if we 
follow um, this road uh, further on, but the politicians have to follow the path, if, if they follow the path of conciliation reforms and bringing the situation even to uh, a change for the worse, uh, this is impossible. So this, we have to create um, uh, all the uh, terms and conditions when the, the let's say when there is requirement on the world public to uh, speed up the reforms but uh, they uh, you know the every day of delay of implementation of uh, those reforms means the reduction of uh, let's say the uh, source of income of those people who have been using that for a long time that's why we are um, going down the hill and we do have to do something there not to stop this tendency um, because it will turn into negative uh, trend when the reforms will be revisited for the uh, in favor of the interests which are not uh, do not meet the um, the uh, the public interest. Yeah, this is a very important topic, and the Glamp already talked about this. Uh, the uh, draft law on the civil service, and there is a question: What is more important to us, the speed or the best possible quality? Because very often they were. Uh, seeing that the um, uh, boldness and the uh, fast reforms is more important than the thorough uh, preparation period, uh, lengthy period of preparation, preparatory work. So, uh, roughly speaking, from the point of view of methodology of the index and from the point of view of you, as uh, the participants or uh, authors of the, uh, this index, what, the, what are, to your mind, the preferences? Well, the preferences uh, lie where the experts are going to determine those to be. I mean, uh, taking into consideration the uh, report, the experts uh, gravitate to the position um, that is better to, uh, rather we have something better than faster. You know, because today we have uh, rather poor quality things. However, the experts are put this way, uh, have a very good response or reaction uh, to such things which are not really um, reforms per se, but they are something close to reforms, and they have certain um, desires, uh, certain wish to achieve very fast uh, changes, transformations. We can sense that, actually. Thank you. And we have another point, uh, item on our agenda, who is more responsible and closer to Timothy. Yes, uh, we are talking about the, the laws are Adopted or not? Yeah, I understand. I have only five minutes to go. I need the presentation to be put on the screen. Can we do the full screen? Yes, next slide. Uh, let's uh, have a look at this. Uh, how many new uh, parliament MPs are in the parliament? 4% of the new people. We can see who attends to, to the meetings. No, we are not talking about the committees. We are talking about those deputies who appear in the um, uh, in the meeting, uh, in the conference hall. This is not uh, the matter whether you wish or not wish, this is a strategic issue. They can come or not come in uh, general, but uh, the issue is when do they come or not come, uh, when we are talking about the voting of the strategic issues. This is not uh, different from you come to your work in the factory or not. There is some political, uh, let's say, a component um, uh, in their um, failure to come to their work. But uh, again, among those, the new ones, this, standard, this index is high, a bit higher. What, again, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's say what is new deputy, politician or not. We are talking about a person who can write or drop a law, adopt this, and implement this law afterwards. If you want to say that the parliament has been in, uh, um, kind of it has a f fresh blood when new people came, but if the laws are adopted only by the old people using their old connections, this is we cannot say about the renovation of our parliament. Uh, we have to create the terms and conditions, but the new MPs can write the laws, uh, adopt, implement this. And see the new persons; they implement. Less than half of the uh, draft law, but they implement more than half of that. They, that means that this, they are more actively working than the old ones, which is not usual thing for the old democracies. For example, in the USA or other uh, developed countries, the old people know the rules of the game, you know. They have more tools in the corruption, etc., etc. So this is actually the positive fact. Next slide. 
Um, here we have the assessment uh, who, uh, who is in the majority and who is in the minority. But for the lack of time, we are going to, uh, to move on. Let's uh, let's see who is the initiators. Uh, well, uh, for example, the cabinet ministers provided or wrote the uh, draft law on the civil service, and it, it is not being adopted. So we can look at uh, individual uh, laws, but uh, the Ukrainian parliament in the first and second sessions they had more than three thousand voting uh, votes for different laws. Some of the laws were adopted, some not. So let's see. The president of Ukraine initiated 58 laws, uh, 47 were adopted. So the, um, the efficiency is uh, 80 plus percent. So whatever is initiated by the president, well, almost everything uh, is are adopted. So um, the speaker of the government, Grossman, initiated 65 and then 50 were adopted. The government initiated uh, 200 uh, plus laws and only uh, 84 were adopted, only 34 percent. We have a big difference what can be uh, adopted by the cabinet ministers and what is, can be adopted by the president. Now, now let's see the party, uh, the party's share. You know, it's not really uh, clear there is, uh, for example, the MMP said that uh, he writes we have to um, uh, to consider some technical issues and these being counted. So those figures are exaggerated. If we remove technical issues, the laws initiated by the MPs, uh, their number is much um, lower, but there are, and some of them are lobbyist uh, laws. For example, we are trying to consider the law, adopt the law under the uh, auspices of, um, uh, of uh, the regulation. For example, to change the custom duty for the import. There are a lot of, uh, of laws of this kind. And uh, they have a very weak uh, text uh, which allows to, uh, to, 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 to interpret this in any possible way. In such laws, very wide laws, are initiated by the deputies a lot, a lot, and some of them are adopted, some not. But the deputies are not efficient in their work. They, 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 they cannot adopt their own laws initiated by themselves, but they adopt those laws which are initiated by the president. I would like to, um, to, to add a few things. I believe there is a need, there is practice um, when there is so-called uh, broad coalition, when there is the water team which represents all the factions in the coalition. And I believe in this case the percentage will be closer to the cabinet of ministers one, this kind of aggregated practice in the parliament. Though it's just, it's just the supplement to the um, uh, methodology. You see how we calculate it. We communicated with the MPs who is the main, who is responsible for the law, the number one person. We, we can now also include the coalition, I agree with you. We can see uh, the picture for each deputy who, uh, who, who submits uh, the majority of laws. Pinsenik, Kinshmiak, Kinesirsk, Kinesirov, Vlasenki, Tretikov, Grinevich, and several more. Um, it's the top 10. There is no speaker in, in, in this 10. We can see what, what are the most active committees, committees which initiated the draft law and what laws were adopted. Uh, the, the, the majority and the, the best in this um, is the um, tax policy and the legislative uh, support and the law um, uh, enforcement borders, the prosecutor's offices, the um, uh, interior ministry, etc., and the budgetary committee, those are the most efficient. They adopted the, the majority, uh, the biggest number of laws. And I would like to compare, we say uh, whether this parliament works well or not. We can compare this with Parliament uh, Andrei Nikovich. We can analyze two first sessions. We ask two uh, simple questions. Number one, whether the Ukrainian parliament of the convocation adopted more uh, the uh, laws as compared to the previous convocation parliament. Um, the uh, parliament Andrei Nikovich during the first 
their procession, they adopted twice as many laws at this parliament on the AIDS convocation. That means that they work slower. But the next question which you can pose, whether they vote more times in, uh, in the parliament or not, maybe there is not so critical uh, law um, uh, like the prosecutor's office law, which is really difficult and requires several votings. But under the college, he issued the order and they voted for that's it. Well, in fact, this parliament works more than the previous one. But in order to adopt a single law, they have to take several votes, whether the matter is this kind of signal issue. Uh, law that we, we put it to the vote and then and there are some amendments etc etc so and of course um, the, the a number of the amendments sometimes several hundreds uh, and the, uh, for example the majority of those are technical like uh, and, uh, there is no comma in place or an extra comma or something like that there are some issues which can be resolved during the committee sittings but the critical issues are uh, put to vote in the parliament itself you know and uh, they were there, and of course what happens there, that this parliament today, in fact, is a parliament which discusses something. It can um, be adopted or not, but this parliament works much better than the previous one. They vote more, and they vote publicly, because those amendments uh, are put to vote, and the people can actually uh, see those. Well, this is a picture which will take a lot of time to explain, but it's under, uh, going to the American technology what is being done for the same the United States for today's parliament and the next picture is the shared with the parliament of college you see on the right blue and green uh, dots regions and communes and uh, the uh, and on the left are the uh, Batkivshina and our Ukraine and the you know there was a position and the party of the um, authorities we can see here the yellow the uh, opposition bloc that was being thrown away, they do not take them into consideration. Another just change, uh, you know, they did uh, um, the defect from one faction to another, you know, so it's not crystallized yet. Thank you. You know, uh, uh, and just to sum up uh, in a certain format, I would like to emphasize strongly upon the, uh, the role of um, the implementation reforms because we are discussing the issue how high quality, uh, quick or not quick, fast or not fast, according to which reasons. And today we have uh, the presentation of three um, separate uh, and the surface of that uh, documents and the video, uh, which shows the, um, the development of different things in time and space, so to say, and the dynamics of follow-up of the reforms in Ukraine. In uh, investigation of the work of the parliament, all those tools allow us not only to analyze but to form better uh, one's own opinion why uh, something is being done faster and uh, other not so faster. I would like to emphasize the uh, the positive um, impact of uh, this uh, very thorough study of reforms in order to more critically. Um, treat the reforms going on in Ukraine. We can see that the, let's say, the slowing, slowing down is uh, associated with uh, some of the lack of the certain procedures of the slow work in the parliament. And we have to take this in consideration. We were talking about some uh, social changes, you know, transformations going on in our country. So we are, uh, when, uh, when, when they join uh, different experts to the initiatives of the Ukrainian Media Center Reforms. Uh, on that, I would like to thank you. In a few minutes from now, we are going to have an next.